Hello, in this video we're going to be training our model to be able to deck different types of cards. So first off you want to go you want to start by going to the models research and the object detection folder in the TensorFlow 1 folder. Once there, you will need to go to the samples folder and the configs. So we are using the faster RCNN inception v2 underscore pets config and we're going to have to change some of the lines in here so that it'll be set up once we start training. You can right click and I'm using notepad plus plus to edit it. So first of all you want to go to and I'm gonna put these lines here so that you can copy them and so you're going to have to go to line 9 and in line 9 however many classes you're using you can change just the certain amount for example if you're doing dog and cat you change the classes to just two and next you want to go to the line 106 scroll down a bit so usually whatever where wherever it says path underscore to be configured all right so you can just take this path over here And just copy that and line 106 and since my folder is in my D drive so I have to change that to D right here change it like that all right next we have lines 123 and 125 and that is where we're gonna put this line right here so here is the input. I'm just gonna take this old one out, and we're gonna put this one instead. Paste that. Oops. All right. And this is the label map path, and this is right here. that also to D drive. Alright. And also line one okay, so on line one thirty we need to change the number underscore example to the number of images we have. And in this case it is the seven for me. That's how many images I'm using. So however many you're using make sure you put the correct number in there as well. Alright, so you can just take this path over here. that and line 106 and since my folder is in my D drive so I have to change that to D right here change it like that all right next we have lines 123 and 125 and that is where we're gonna put this line right here so here is the input. I'm just gonna take this old one out and we're gonna put this one instead. Paste that. Oops. Alright, and this is the label map path and this is right here. that also to teach right all right and also line one okay so on line 130 we need to change the number underscore examples to the number of images we have and in this case it is 311 pretty sure all right and lines 135 and 137 we have to change the path as well over there. Alright. And 
the same full label map path. And it's really important you do this correctly, otherwise you're gonna get a bunch of errors. That's it, now we're ready for train. So now you want to move the config file, the pest version, this one, this file right here. You want to move that to the training folder right here. You just copy and paste that here. And the, also the label map that's already here as well. So now once that is put there, you gotta make sure it's there as well. If you're using a GPU, you need to use a certain command to set your CUDA bin path. So right now, mine is in, well, it should be in D drive. So now if I just copy that. There we go, now that's set. Now we can start training. So just copy this. start like that and it'll take around 30 seconds to a minute to start and once it starts training if the loss or not loss if the time per step is around over three seconds or above that probably means that your CUD and N folders or libraries were not acquired correctly which means you didn't put the paths correctly so that means it opted to use the CPU instead. But if it says something like this, successfully open, that means to all the libraries, that means it's using your GPU. So it's gonna take a second to start up. Yeah, like these folders right here, successfully open dynamic library. start running in a second and we can see the progress of our training through tensorboard which I'll show how to use in a second right. yep so now it started training Now it starts training in the second should be like this. So once loss gets under 0 0.005 consistently, that means training is done. And you can stop that by pressing Control C. And it'll save a checkpoint in the training folder, which you, we'll use in the next video, to compile our model and use it with a Python script to identify objects. So now, if you open another Anaconda prompt, and go to the virtual environment all right and we use this command right here It might not work the first time when you try opening this link. So now, if I go back to the prompt, so it's gonna give like the PC name plus 6006. So I just put HTTP, make that. Yeah, so it might take a second till it shows up here. So the training has to go on for just a little bit. Well, at least for me, I had this issue where it takes a second, but it should give you a graph. Alright, All right, yeah, it looks like it's still loading a bit. Try to press refresh. Alright, so it might take a second. Yeah, and you just let this go on for a couple of hours. Right, 
So when you're done, you are gonna use this command to export an inference graph. And here where it says x x x x, that is basically where you're gonna put the checkpoints. So how many steps it went through. So right now in the training folder, there is gonna be a checkpoint here. The, well, it's not here yet. With the and it shows the step and in that step you're gonna copy that number and put it into this command right here and we'll use that to export an inference graph or model which we can use with one of these scripts right here i think in this case you can use a webcam a video or image as well and yeah so the next video will be the final one and it'll show how to use that all right thanks for watching